Can you uh, walk us through the the play, the the Anias throw? You you had some time, make a great throw. To just kind of walk us through that play. <clears throat> so, I knew I honestly knew it was going to score as soon as Coach Petrino called it. Um, we got the right coverage we were looking for. I looked like quarters coverage. I was looking at the post first, and then Anias had a great route on the corner route. Got wide open. I kind of turned the defender around, made him do like a 360 almost, and uh, you know I put it in his hands, and he did the rest. So. Pretty special. We'll go front row on the right side to Travis. I know this is a little out of left field, but with how much transfer portals going on, players moving, coaches moving, have you noticed in, in your time that coaches change signals up on the sidelines a little bit more because there's more guys you might know inside the program and not asking what the signals are, but just what's kind of the process like of learning new things every week or however long yeah. you do? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've definitely changed up our signals since last year from game to game, from who's signaling, who's a dummy guy, who's not. And I think we, our coach has done a good job of kind of changing up, you know, who's signaling this driver, who's signaling, um, you know, this game. But I think we've done a good job of mixing up our signals from last year and changing up some things. We'll stay on the front row, right side to Brent, and then Cole. Max, what's been the difference for you all in the first half and second half in terms of offense? The last four games, no touchdowns on offense. Obviously, you could have had a couple this past game. But um, what, what do you feel like in looking at the tape and saying what do you all need to do moving forward to, to score more in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I think I mean this past game, I think we scored or got points seven out of the last eight drives of this game. And I think um, also I think we were trying to run the ball the whole or a lot of the second half um, just to take away some of the clock. Um, but you know, we, we, we had to score touchdowns in the second half, and you know we've been uh, harping on that. Uh, this and you know these past few weeks is we got to finish, finish practice, finish your drives, finish games. We got to, we got to be better at that. One more on that front row from Cole. Max, the analogy of this being a team that has lost eight straight consecutive road games. Just in your perspective, what have you noticed about this team? To what seems to not be clicking? You're saying on offense? Uh, just, just on offense or in general? In your for away games or, or away, for away games? I think just, you know, having great communication at the line, whether that's, you know, getting the protection calls right, which we've done a really good job of, uh, you know, getting everyone in the right position. Um, but I think just, you know, going on the clap cadence has been big for us, just, you know, not having false starts, not having holding penalties. And um, I think just communication overall has been uh, something that we've been harping on as well. And then it's in the past now, but did you think Max was in on the touchdown? I did. At first, I was like, okay, he was out of bounds when I threw it. Um, but after watching the replay, I was like, there's no way they don't overturn this. So I definitely thought it was a touchdown. We'll go back to Travis on the front row for a follow-up. Yeah, along the same lines, when you were in, in high school or college, did you ever play in a game where you realized the other team had picked off the signals? And what's that like for a, a quarterback uh, uh, and how you change that and just them knowing the play? I mean, I have buddies on a lot of different teams. Um, it's not like we talk like that, but um, I mean, I have some friends, uh, some coaches that are on different teams, I guess, talking after games is, you know, they maybe they saw us do this a couple weeks ago and oh, I knew that was coming. But um, there's no, I mean, I know that's like a thing now is picking signals and it's, that's going on in college football. Um, but honestly, I mean, I know it's really hard to pick signals because, I mean, you have so many guys dummy signaling and, um, you know, kind of doing their own thing. So, I mean, we've, we've mixed it up a lot this year and kind of switched up who's signaling, who's not. We'll go back behind the lights to TV Row to Tyler and then Justin. Yeah. Max, did you notice a difference this last week with um, having more of a kind of healthy offense and, and all your you know your receivers back? Hundred percent. I mean, it's always good to have those guys you know healthy, and um, we've had a lot of guys you know with small injuries. They've been playing through them with small injuries, but they've done a really good job you know getting in the uh, the treatment the treatment room. And um, but it, it it was really fun having a lot of guys healthy. You know, going out there and. Uh, you know, having a really good second half. And the, you know, I know the defense has been, been playing well and, you know, keeping teams off the board for the most part. But when you're going up against a team like Ole Miss, who, who you know, does put up a lot of offense and a lot of points, uh, does that ever, you know, put any more kind of responsibility on your shoulders that, you know, hey, I got to, I know I've got to, might have to go out and match them? I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, our defense plays well every week. And, um, you know, we've, we've got to score as many points as possible. And that's what we try to do every single game. There's no, oh, we have to score this many points for this game, do this for that. Um, but it's just going out and executing and doing what we do. And, um, and I think we're, you know, we've, we've harped on that as well uh, these past few games is literally just finishing. Um, you know, we've put up points in the first half, you know, go, go, got to go out and, you know, do that in the second half. We'll stay back behind the lights on the right side to, to Justin. 
Max, going back to the receivers, how, how nice was it to kind of get East doing and Anais really going, and how, how do you think you can build off of that? You know, it's, you know, it's really fun um, getting the ball in their hands quick, whether that's, you know, bubble screens, this and that, just letting them make plays. Uh, it doesn't always have to be um, downfield throws, and I think they're really good at, you know, getting open, and um, it's really special you know, and you can throw a five-yard route to them, and they can take it to the house. And then along those lines, you know, Jimbo used to say it all the time, chunk plays and big plays, you know, determine the, out the outcome of games. How big do you think that is in this one when you're facing, like Tyler said, an explosive offense on their end? How big, how big of a factor do you think big plays and chunk plays are on Saturday? I mean, I think they're, al they're always, you know, they always determine games, whether that's a 40-yard pass or whether that's a 40-yard run, whether it's a five-yard pass that goes for 40 yards. I think there's different ways to get those type of plays. And um, I mean, of course, that determines you know the game. Turnovers determine the game, big plays, um, touchdowns in the red zone, and uh, just getting points when you can. We'll go fifth row on the right side to Ben, and then Cease. Max, how do you feel like uh, <clears throat> you're, you're doing lately processing just sort of, uh, you know, I guess, balancing, you know, shutting the play down and, and trying to make something out of it, but also sticking with it and seeing receivers? I know, saw, noticed a couple times you had, you know, bought time, bought time, and then dumped it over and got some completions. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's times when it's third down, you got to make a play, you got to hold on to the ball longer. If it's a longer developing play, if it's a 16 yard route, um, I got to hold the ball a little bit longer to see it clearly and for the receiver to, to you know, to get open. Um, that, and that takes, but it also takes with, coming with taking the shots and, you know, throwing the ball in there. Um, but, you know, it's been good. We've been working on the, our third down packages and um, I think that's what kind of, you know, came in the clutch this week, this past week, sorry. We'll go front row on the left side to Cease and then Carter. We get back to the road troubles, if we could. I know you haven't played a lot of the road games at times, but what do you take maybe from the Tennessee game, which is like I think the only really true road game that you've got to start in? You take anything from that game moving forward to this your second your next road trip? I mean, yeah, it was loud, but I think we also did a really good job of communicating, and you no, know, we didn't have any false starts and. Um, being able to communicate with the backs just because they are they're not able to hear me sometimes whether if I'm checking to you know checking with the O line and checking a play from this to that and being able to com communicate with you know with the backs on who they're blocking on certain protections and where they're going on you know specific runs. We'll go second row on the left side to Carter and then Brent. Yeah, Max. Just overall, how would you kind of assess Ole Miss's defense and what they've been able to accomplish recently? Yeah, I know they, they played a really physical game versus Vanderbilt last week. Um, I think they do a lot of really good things. They're really physical. Um, I think, you know, they're big up front. They have good, you know, DBs. And I think our guys are, you know, ready for the challenge. And then how much experience did you have doing QB sneaks? And uh, I guess before this year, and uh, how much of a difference do you think that made in the short yardage situations y'all had? Um, I mean, I've had a, you know, a lot of success doing QB sneaks um, in the past. Uh, but at the same time, it's you know, what's called and what the look is, and you know what's right for the team. If it, that's a run play and naked, if it's an, um, you know, if it's QB sneak, I'm, you know, we're gonna go get it, and you know, whatever's called, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. We'll go front row on the right side to Brendan, and then wrap things up with Rob. So, how do you found, find that balance? You're talking about holding on to the ball. But also saying, hey, I got to get rid of it here before I get sacked. In that sense, how do you how do you achieve that balance? I mean, there's times in the game where if, you know if it's if I know a blitz coming and um, you know I got to hold on to the ball a second longer, whether if I'm getting hit or not, I got to make the play. Or if it's you know third and long or third and short, you know I can't get I can't take a sack. Or if it's there's there's certain times of the game um, where you know a sack is just the same as an incompletion, um, but. Being able to balance those, whether that hey my receiver's open right here, I'm going to throw it in there, or my receiver's not open, I'm not going to throw it in there, and you know it get picked. I think taking a sack is um, not the best thing to have, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing that can happen. You've seen it both ways at LSU and A&M in terms of the travel before a, a, a game. What do you think of the two days before? It's pretty rare that a program does that. And how do you, how does it compare to say like LSU in that situation? I don't mind it. I think it's more time to you know relax and kind of talk about things and, you know, get the kinks out and just, um, you know, talk honestly and just talk about our game plan, talk about what's going on, what we think they're doing on defense, you know, what we're doing on offense and how we can attack, um, you know, specific parts of the defense. 
We'll go fourth throw on the left side to Rob to wrap things up. Howdy, Max. Uh, so Jimbo uh, mentioned that he tries to get you guys, um, they try to teach you how to, how to break down film and how to watch film. Has your dad um, helped you along the way as, as, as that goes? And, and if you don't mind, share with us kind of y'all's conversations after a game. Is, is he breaking down how you played and trying to give you tips on how to be better? <clears throat> well, I mean, when it comes to, f you know, watching film, um, you know, I don't really watch film with my dad about, you know, Texas A&M stuff. Um, I like watching film with our coaches. And, um, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, talking with him after games, I mean, it's, it, there's good, bad, everything in between. It's funny. It's, it's you know, I'll, I'm proud of you, all this, everything in between. I think I've been able to learn from, you know, his experiences, and he's been able to uh, give me some advice of what, you know, what, kind of what he's gone through, the highs, the lows, and being able to manage, you know, the middle. Um, so I think that's, that's been huge for me. All right, that's all we have. Thank you, Max. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.